Okay, welcome back. Week two of uh, Fusion Mondays. Today we're going to talk about how to model parts using only straight lines, as well as fillet and chamfer, which are two uh, finishing techniques that fillets put little round edges on things and chamfers put uh, 45s or other angles on. So let's get right into it. So before we get started, we're basically making two, I like to call them Lincoln L's for Lincoln High School. We're making two L's that have these dimensions. So if you, down, if you go to Schoology, you should be able to see these parts. If you're watching this online, um, you can refer back to this or take a quick snapshot with your camera if you're gonna try to do it at home. So to get started, just like uh, before, we're gonna start a new sketch and we are gonna choose a plane. Now, we are gonna start with line. And there are two ways to do this, so I'm going to show you two different ways for each of the two different Lincoln L's. So the first way is to just draw an L. I'm paying attention to the numbers in blue so that they're close to the numbers I need. So around 0.75 there, come down at around 1.75 uh, here, and come out and then down and then back to the origin. Now, one problem I can tell you right away is that this, notice there's these little T's, which is indicating that this line is perpendicular to this line for each joint, but there is no one for that joint. So you can get that T by going to perpendicular here and then selecting the two lines you want to be perpendicular. Now we're going to go ahead and put up the dimensions. In my last video, I talked about using dimension by clicking on the line you want to dimension, like so. So this is 2.5. Click on this line here, and that's 0.75. Click on the bottom line, and this is 1.75. And you will notice now that almost all the lines are black. And here's a common mistake. Many students say, oh, I have to dimension this line. And, you, and they'll do this, and they'll get this warning that this is adding an over constraint. And you can't change this number because we don't actually need a dimension from left to right. It is locked in because we can subtract 1.75 from 0.75 and know this is one. What we actually have to dimension is the height of this line. So in a sense, we need to dimension the toe, if this was a boot, the toe of this. So if we go back to dimension, which we can also get to by clicking here or by pressing D on the keyboard, and then we can drag out this line and make it the 0.75 that we want. So we're done. Speaking of quick keys, D is a quick key for dimension, L is a quick key for line, and E is a quick key to finish the sketch and go right to extrusion. So if I press E, it finishes the sketch and jumped right to extrusion, and I can type in 1.0 to extrude it one inch. Now, we have our um, Lincoln L, and we're going to now put, apply some fillets to it. One thing I want to address is you can apply a fillet here in what's called the feature, or you can apply fillets in the sketch. So if I wanted to edit the sketch, I can right-click, edit sketch, and I can go back and make modifications here. So our first modification is we're going to put a fillet in the bottom in the top of the foot, if I always like to refer to the Lincoln L as this is a foot, you know, the heel, heels back here, this is the top of the foot, this is the toe, this is where the boot entrance is. So there is a fillet within the sketch. So we can click fillet, we can click on the two lines we want to fillet together, and we can give it the 0.2 value that we want. I almost never use this fillet. I've used it probably 5% of the time. I almost always use the fillet in the feature, and mainly is because it's more editable in the future. If I want a fillet that I want to change the size because I don't like it for whatever reason, it's much more editable in the feature than it is in the sketch. So I'm going to hit finish sketch, and you'll notice it automatically put that fillet in, automatically updated the sketch. But we can also use fillet here, and I'm going to put a fillet here and here to point 0.2 and I can click OK. And you'll notice it put a feature down here called a fillet. If I wanted to edit it, I right click, edit feature, and I can change this number to whatever number I wanted. 
25, I could change it to 30, and they will all change together. Versus if I do it in the sketch, I would have to go back into Edit Sketch and then click on each dimension I want it changed. So I prefer editing the feature. Now I showed you in this uh, fillet how to do a single edge or a corner. You could also do it by an entire path by going fillet and selecting a face. And in this case, I'm going to do a fillet of 0.1 and it will fillet the entire edge of that face. I'm going to hit cancel because if you're going to do fillets that are all going to be the same size, you actually want to select all the faces and then type in point one, and it will keep all those fillets linked. Okay, so that's a, a brief overview of fillet. Um, fillet is one of only a handful of features that is both in the sketch and in the feature. So you have to be aware that it can happen in two places within Fusion, in which place is applicable for your project. In my class, almost always you're going to use fillet in the feature. So we're done with this, so we're going to go save. This is called week two, your last name, and it is called Follette. And we are going to save it to the Fusion Monday folder. Oops, I guess there's two F's in, two L's in Follette. I misspelled it. So how do we edit the name? We can right-click here and say rename, and I can put in two L's for Follette. I have to enter for it to update, and it'll automatically update here. So let's move forward, and let's do the chamfer, which is very, very similar to Follette. So we're going to go File New. I'm going to show you a slightly different drawing technique. So before I did, I drew the L and then went back and dimensioned it. But if you click on the center and draw a vertical line, notice it has a number. I can go ahead and type in 0.5 right there and hit Enter and it will give me a line that's that long already black. Coming across, I can go uh, 0.75 right into the computer. I can click line again, and I can do the math in my head, which is 1.75, enter, line, this should be one, line, this should be 0.75, line, and then from here to here, and notice, produce the fully constrained drawing as I move forward. Once again, I press E on the keyboard to jump right out of the sketch and into an extrusion. And again, this is one. Once again, if I want to edit sketches, um, I am going to go back to right here and right click edit sketch. By the way, if I wanted to edit the feature, I could also right click edit feature and I could change the extrusion height. But we're going to do a sketch. So edit sketch. And um, we have this just like the, uh, I like to not have the dimensions in the part. This just like um, Follette, you have the ability to create a chamfer within the sketch. Now, there are three ways chamfer can be done. And almost all of them have to do, well, two of them have to do with the distances. Meaning we are going to come how far in this direction and how far in this direction, and then draw a straight line across. So equal distance would mean it's the same as you see in the graphic presented there. An angle is a distance and then an angle, and then a two different distance would give you a distance other than 45 by using linear measurements. Almost always we use uh, the equal one, at least in my class. Um, there are times to use the other ones. Um, I will cover them as we get to them. So we're going to hit equal distance. We are going to select this corner. And then we can say the distance, which is going to be 0 .2, 0 0.2, not 0.25, and finish sketch. And there is our first ch chamfer. We can also do chamfer in the feature by clicking here. And this has the same three options in a drop-down menu here. And we can select the same two edges that we want and also set them to 0 0.2. Once again, you notice that the feature, we can edit the feature here, um, just like in Flat. And the same thing can happen by going chamfer and selecting a surface and saying 0.1, and it will then chamfer that entire surface, all the edges off that surface. And I can hit OK 
or I'm sorry, cancel. I deleted away that. I'm going to do it again. Uh, chamfer. Select this surface and this surface and set it to 0.1 and click OK. So we have a fully chamfered Lincoln L now. And we can go ahead and save this. And it's W, W2, W capitals, my last name. And this we would call chamfer. And we can hit save. And this is week two. We're all done. We've learned a little bit of chamfer, a little bit about editing, a little bit about um, feature, uh, editing features, editing sketches, and how to um, create drawings kind of two different ways. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one.